There's this amazing synchronicity of uh, the development of quantum physics on the one hand and on the other hand the development of uh, the uh, com complex or analytic uh, or depth psychology of um, Carl Gustav Jung culminated in uh, the meeting of two giants. One is uh, Jung and the other is Wolfgang Pauli. Wolfgang Pauli was one of the most important physicists who in the 20s and 30s of the last century um, was present and involved in all the most important uh, discoveries and developments of quantum physics. And Wolfgang Pauli himself um, got famous and the Nobel Prize for discovering the Pauli principle of um, Exclusion, exclusion uh, principle, which is related to the spin. So the discovery of the spin was uh, related to his uh, his research. Pauli got to know uh, Carl Gustav Jung for, in the first place as his own psych psychologist and psychoanalyst. But from this meeting between a doctor and a patient, first of all a, a long friendship of more than 20 years developed and then um, also a deep uh, collaboration between um, Jung and Pauli and also a an, um, an very, um, very inspired but also controversial discussion. And it was always about the one topic that physics and psychology have to meet because psychology is describing the inner world, physics is describing the outer world, but both of these geniuses we are convinced there's only one world. So how shall this one, why shall this one world be described by two completely different uh, um, ways of science which have two completely different uh, languages and uh, normally a physicist and a psych psych psychologist they don't have a common ground to talk with each other or to meet on a scientific basis. So both of these uh, Great scientists, Jung and Pauli, were convinced that we need one science which is dealing with the one reality, which is like something like a psychometer or a, a metapsyche. And you, you even see by these difficulties which we have in, in, in just naming it, how, how shall we call this one reality, um, that we need a new language. This is what Pauli and Jung called a neutral language. We have to develop a new, neutral language um, to talk about this one reality. And um, both uh, Jung and uh, Pauli were not just pure scientists in a way, but they also had a deep uh, metaphysical or I would say also alchemistic uh, background. So it's very, very interesting discussion, both of them, um, which in the end, when both of them died, died in the 50s, um, didn't give a perfect answer to this question, but just stress the importance of this project to bring meta and psyche together in one science. And I'm very strongly convinced that we have now a clue to um, solve this um, conflict between meta and psyche by looking at the science of the informational field. And this is our work uh, which we do with time runner. We understand that behind matter there is a dimension, a physical dimension, the informational field, which um, is responsible for the um, uh, physical processes, which uh, is also partially in control of these physical processes, and which on the other hand is very deeply connected to the human psyche. So this information, looking at the informational field is looking uh, at the level of reality where psyche and matter at least meet, and uh, to get an insight into the dynamic processes of the informational field helps us to understand why things are happening the way they are happening. How psychic or psychological states connect to events in the real physical world and how the other way around uh, works. This is what uh, Jung called and Pauli called synchronicity which we all observe again and again, that we are thinking something, we have an inner vision or an inner experience, and in the outer world something corresponds
bonding happens. Every one of us has experiences. You think about a dear friend and in this moment you perceive an email, get an email from the same person or you get a phone call. And these are just the most common type of experiences. Many things happening in our life like this and um, which are completely mystical. To explain this kind of synchronicities, um, Jung uh, and Pauli worked on this, what we call informational field. So time waiver is designed as a practical in, an interface, a quantum physical interface to communicate with the informational field. To get, to get bits and bytes of information from the background of physical and psychological reality to more deeply understand why things are happening in the way are actually happening and also to get a clue how to solve the problems on a very deep level. So this is the intention of the work with Time Weber to understand and to treat problems or diseases on a deeper level, on the level of the informational field and uh, yeah, practically start to work on this level.